Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farm Revolution Dream here. Here we are on a beautiful little French map called Lily Normandy. It is by JM Gaming. 463.7 megabytes to download. There is one per mod of Fruit Productions by also JM Gaming, so once again I don't know why modders who make maps don't put their own mods in into the map themselves, but then still they can require mod because as we go around we will notice one thing of his buildings he's using, so this is the set of old stone walls, also by him. He's used this on this map, so yeah, I'm not sure why that is in terms with that's in the map, but not a require mod, but the fruit production is, but it means that is a minor version, so yeah. Map itself, 463.7 megabytes to download with the additional mod of the fruit production, so that is an additional 45.57 megabytes to download, so yeah, that's going to be just over 500 megabytes, but anyways, let's go over the map script, shall we? So, who's as following? Welcome to Vluli, this map in the very free inspiration from the region of Normandy in France. The map includes, amongst other things, 195 fields, including 94 formations, Five wooded plots, five shopping areas including a library market or lively market. So here's some of the noises in the background, so that is some of those. Along with that, got orchards to grow your fruits, that's part of the fruit production. Take on a big challenge with your best equipment in the stone quarry. Three areas to build brand new farm. There are a few of these, we'll go over those in a bit. Fences can be easily removed in landscape mode. You'll be able to hear many original sounds such as animals, rivers and forest. The rivers are populated with fishes, certain with aquatic plants are life. Sky sometimes invaded by birds, so... Yep, yeah, sort of see some birds at the moment going around in the air. Also, a mushroom collection you'll find your harvest on sale in the Vui Market. A complete set of new floor textures to decorate your game. Customized map for the precision farming. On easy mode, this has been changed. You'll begin with a takeover on the old farm in a complementary in practical location with an old equipment. It therefore represents a certain challenge. Thanks to all of those contributions on the mod hub, prefab section for their models. And yeah, so obviously I don't have precision farming enabled, but so yeah, first of all. We are up here in North, we're in the cell area, the market hub area and that, so... But yeah, this is an absolute beautiful of a map, so... I think it's your... When you first load in, you'll load in over here, so... Here are some of the areas, or some of the areas and that, so... For example, you hear the brush sweeping people chattering amongst the birds chirping and stinging away in that. Also when you into the map himself and that, around about 50% downloaded, so let me just move away a sec, so but yeah, around about the map starts to download in that, in terms of when you load it into game. You also hear the birds chirping on the sort of intro of the map, so that is an absolute stunner of a beautiful thing. But yeah, so yeah, actually, you know what's head over here, so that is just a bit away. But yeah, the bird strip here, that may be annoying to some, but me personally, it just gives that a bit of an immersion of the map and that. But as anyways, first of all, as I search these map tours and that, there'll be timestamps down below. But yeah, so first of all, we'll go over the PDA. So, first of all, the PDA, so there are about 200 and 22, no sorry, 223 Bible Plots areas. You could buy about 95% of the map. And yeah, for the fields themselves, you're looking at about around about 300 grand that upwards as your maximum for the fields themselves. 450 grand for that one. But yeah, mostly it's going to be around the 200, 300 grand. The meadows themselves, yeah, the various prices around Again, the 200 grand mark to about 100 grand, if not less. Also, you do have some buildable lot areas, so 
as we go around, you see these little areas here, these little faded grey areas, these are concrete areas of where you can create your own farm, so got one over here on southwest of the map, also just across towards the river, got another one over there, moving along across, so next to fields 92, 91 and that, got another area over here and that, and then yep, as we go along, so yep, got our starting farm over here, so we'll go over that in a sec, and yep, heading around, but yeah, there is no more areas, I guess that's going to be the quarry up there, but again, I'm not too sure on that, so we'll have a little tour of the map, but yeah, so in terms with sell prices and that, or sell building, so over here you've got your vehicle shop, which you can purchase the shop for an extraordinary amount of money off just under 4 million. And over here you've got your fuel point gas station, along with one of your sell points, the Voidy Market. Heading to the northeast, you've got your ammo dealership. Then going down, you've got your lime station, which you can purchase lime. Along with the man stone, so that's going to be your little quarry area in that. So you can sort of simulate off taking stones over in that, and then, yeah, purchasing lime from it. And also, you've got your water mill that market, that's going to be one of your productions on the map. So that will be a base game green mill, but with some custom assets and that. So, and then sell point for that. Heading down, we've got some productions of that, that you can purchase these individually. Got four orchards next to your dairy of the monastery of Castile. So that's going to be your dairy production. Similar base game terms with production rates and that, but you can't do chocolate and that. And heading to the bottom left corner of the map, southwest and that, or southeast. No, southwest. So yeah, got your Voli Fruits Cooperative. So it's going to be part of the fruit production mod and that, as a required mod and that. And then yeah, just off of that, you've got King's Pond Market. And on that, you've got another market in that, so you've got some contracts in that. But yeah, there is no buy gas plant by the looks of it, but again, we'll may discover some of it as we go around. In terms with where you can sell items and that, so things like your wheat and barley and that. For the most part, it can go into your markets. Along with some at the water mill net. And yeah, it's going to be seen for pretty much every crop. Things like eggs that can be sold in the cooperative. But yeah, there ain't a sell point for... Yeah, that's a bit odd that. No sell points for grass, hey. There's a sell point for soil and that, so that may need an update now. But again, there is a sell every container by Schultz mod in that. Rose, rose salt, again, to resell rose salt in that. But yeah, for your productions, you get again, your clothes, sugar in that, so cooperative can go in. Also, clothes in that could just go in, into your other markets. And I think it's going to be pretty much the same for every production. But yeah, liquid fertilizer sell point, again, it's not really one of those things you have normally in that. But yeah, there's no big BG in that by the looks of it, but again, I may be wrong. I haven't done a full tour of the map yet. I'll save that reaction for as I go, go around the map. Then yeah, you got your custom fruits and that as part of the fruits production and that. So, yeah, always you can purchase, not purchase, sell your items. Or orchards and that, so lemons, oranges, papayas. Then also, yeah, use the production itself, which we'll go over in a bit and that. So you get apple chips, jams, juices, jellies, and apple pie. But I think, let's go over to the main farm area, and then we'll have a look at sort count and the rest of it. So, here we are over the main farm now, so you've got a little land area here where again you can put sheds in that if you wish. But yeah, so the mod description did mention about it being a, not the best of places in that, so... But yeah, so we'll go over here, it's got a couple of sheds in that, so yeah, got a... This is section of certain equipment. So very rustic old school now. Also, an old little abandoned pickup in that. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't lift that too heavy in that, we know. 
But yeah, let's go over a slot count, shall we? So, on new farm mode, which we're on, it is 1,346. And in terms of what you start off with, in terms of equipment, so, on the small tractor, you've got the Steer 8150, and in the Bureau 6105. On the medium tractor, you've got the John Deere 4755. For your harvester, you've got the Rosh Smash Nova 330, something a bit different. Along with that, you also get the Power Stream 500 header, the Zygol Corn Champion 5R Corn header, no header trailers or anything like that. For your cars and that, you got the John Deere XUV 865M. Trailers and that, you got the Rudolph DK 280RL. For your cultivators and that, you got the Horse Toronto 3FX. Power Harrows, you got the Amazon KG 3001 Super. Paired with either a Amazon Centea 3000 Super Cedar or a Amazon Precera or Precia, sorry, 4500 2C Super. And for your further spreaders, you got the Amazon ZATS 3200 and then you got the John Deere Pickup 900 weight. So 1346 slots. And on new farm mode, start with plots 91, 200, 92, and 88. So Terms of fields that like is 94, 93, and then your grass meadow, which is field 50. So, go into build mode, and we're already in build mode. The birds get a little bit louder, I think. Not sure if that's me or what. But yeah, so you've got your bit of meadowlands, along with meadows over here and that. Yeah, 58, we don't own that, but. Again, you can remove these fences and that, so... There we go. Like so. But yeah, turns to a slot count for for manager, sort from scratch, so... That will be... 1,223. And that is pretty much just without the equipment and nothing else, other about the farmhouse as well. But yeah, so, do have some custom ground textures and that, so... We go into build mode. Once again, there is no custom builders or anything like that. Under productions, you do have your fruit production, so I'll show that off. So, 120 grand, which is the same with the one on the map. And this one does come with its own sell point, the farmer's market. And under greenhouses, you also have your exotic orchards. Yeah, nothing under orchards or anything like that. Nothing under animals and that, but if you go into decorations, this is where I get a mention about uh, JM Gaming's stone walls and our set of walls and that. So, yeah, these are his stone walls and that, and his walls and that. So, yeah, like, where are they? These aren't a required mod, but even though these are a modded item, but the fruit production can just be implemented into the map. That I'm not too sure with, but again, that's just a minor thing. And yeah, only custom things as well is all of the ground texture. So, going from left to right, so, got your dark asphalt, which is, I think that's supposed to be like an animal mud, because, but again, that, we've got animal mud here and that, so, maybe a, dish, a different kind of asphalt and that. Saying that is French road, so, French, hmm, your foreign tracks and that, so, but yeah, you also do have your normal asphalt, along with cobblestones, concrete, flagstones, so basically your like, tiles and that. Also some more different kind of flagstones, where dirt textures and that, forestry ground, gravel, some more gravel with a bit of moss on it. With a lot more moss on it. And yeah, bit of a more of a neutral gravel thing. Yeah, one's just lighter and darker than the other. But yeah, then again, also, as we looked at, animal mud. Which is that the same as the road in that? So, okay, it's got like, little stones now in it. So, let me put a big section down. And then, yeah. Put some of that asphalt down. 
it is that is the scene, right? Maybe slightly different than that, like different shade than that, but yeah, I'm not too sure on that. But yeah, also <laughs> under animal mud. Got that. Also, you do have asphalt again. On well, that, got your plates, so shut off so you get plates. Gravel. Dirt. Sand. And yeah, again, just different, more animal muds that, so there is a whole plethora of stuff here, so. But yeah, I think these are. These ones here are the base games, right? So. Yeah, I think these are base game ones here to the right. Yeah, these are the base game ones. So yeah, so you got the base game ones along with the custom mod ones. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is so that's the farm mode or build mode and all that. So let's head to the source sec and let's get a vehicle and then tour the map. So, here we are at source. As you can see, this is going to be spawn point for your equipment. Rookshot trigger is just here, Nat. Oh, yeah, you do have a nice little workshop area over here, Nat. Oop. Get a bit stuck in that. And then, yeah, your shop icon. So, let's see how much you can spawn. So, one, two, three. Four, six, eight. Is that nine? So yeah. And actually, that is well done. Actually, how the equipment spawns in that. So that is actually well done. Like I know sometimes with some shops you've seen that on maps and that the spawn items a bit weirdly now or have a very limited spawn that. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is, so we're going to leave here and that, so we'll go around obviously the market, the fuel point and that. And I think personally what we'll do is we'll go anti clockwise, so we'll go up the road, loop around down, I'll go down to all these farm tracks and that, have a look to the road to the main farm, back onto the road, and then yeah, we'll head down south, and then yeah, we'll have a little look around because. This is an absolute stunner and beautiful map. Yes, I know the sound is going to be annoying to some people, but again, as I mentioned, it adds that immersion of it, so... Stopping that. So yeah, the market cell point, which is just over here and that. And I like how that's been well implemented into the map now, especially with the sloped terrain and that, so... But yeah, head along. Oh, you feel point that? I think we just missed a turn for it back there, so. Oh, oh yeah. Typical, yeah. French route, you see the two CVs and that, so. Oh, uh, yeah. A uh, little men says they are, so yeah. Got your fuel point over here, Nat. So you can refill here, Nat. But also, you can sell fuel by the looks of it, Nat, so. And yes, it does look like, yeah, you can sell your fuel at 1160 and purchase fuel at a fixed price of 1250 And yeah, I'm not sure what that price fluctuation is, so I know if we skipped ahead a bit, that will clear up a lot more on that. But yeah, so let's go to our pickup again. And yeah, let's continue on our tour of this stunning little French map. And yeah, as we go around, you'll see all these like yeah, these little buildings, these assets and that. Again, no hard moss for these building packs, and I hate to say that has to be a good thing that, but just with a lot of maps we be getting lately in that. Yeah, hard moss for building packs and that. Yeah, like again, I guess, especially if it's a map maker's first map and that. But yeah, I know this is Jam Gaming's I think third or fourth map at the moment, so Oh yeah, so stick to the tarmac and that. But yeah, just absolute stunned scenery and that. 
and even the, the edge of the map itself, it blends in with the map itself now, so... Okay, a car just randomly popped up out there. Also, yeah, just so you said, yeah, sign for view there, one mile or one kilometre away. Guess it's one kilometre away, because it's France and that's. But yeah, this is a absolute stunning beauty of the map. And yeah, this say was going to go down that little pathway, so... Actually, what, there is a path, if we take a left here and that. Yeah, if we take a left here, we can loop back up and out of the way. Ooh. Oh yeah, French uh, drivers and that, or just French drivers in general, just pull out in front of you, why don't you Nat? It's not like I'm here Nat. But yeah, this is a gorgeous piece of landscaping. And yeah, if you head up here Nat, up this little farm track and out, side road and that. This will lead us to the market and that, and then, yeah, we'll take the road to the right, head down to the farm. Oh, yeah, I know we're going over the farm itself, but I'll like to show the road down the pathway down, so... I should want to get rid of that help menu and that, because, yeah, we're not near any buildings and that, or near anything interactive, so... Yep, here we are, your market and that. Very familiar shit to that, to the ones on the main farm area. But yeah, again, it just looks... With one of the map now, it just, it's blended in so well now, so... But yeah, that is one... Of your cell points. And then yeah, next we're gonna head down to the farm next. So, alright, just steam rolling down. And yeah, see your farm to the right. So yeah, we'll take a right here on that. I'm actually wondering where does that road lead to now? Because there is a continuous road. I'm guessing either to nowhere or maybe to across that to your line area on that. So yeah, I think we'll have a little look at that. Because if yeah, if we could do that, yeah, it change things up a bit. So yeah, we your house now as we were gone over in that. But yeah, it's very, the main farm area itself is, I'll say it's pretty huge now, like, it is huge enough, so... I know, oof, got these awkward bits here and that. So yeah, where are we going, so... Yeah, I'm not sure what's continue on this way now. But yeah, we are on a hilly section of the map and that. There are some nice undulations and that. But yeah, I think in, you're going to need a slightly more powerful tractors and combine that to work most of these areas, not even just some of the areas, I think. Most of the areas in that. Oof. Got a bit tagged up there, so... Alright, so yeah, let's go recap over. So yeah, gone over from the shop. Gone around to the main farm area. And um, we've just joined onto the main road here, so... Or one of your main roads, so yeah, I think we'll just head on down. And then, yeah, we'll go to the King's Pond Market. Have a look at this river now. Yeah, we want to see these fishes and that. These little fishies. Then, yeah, to your fruit production. And then, yeah, we'll continue on back up to your other areas. So, yeah, let's take a left ear, I think. Yeah, just a left ear. But yeah, these are going to be one of those maps, I think, personally, where you can just get lost in the breathtaking scenery and beautifulness of it. So, again, playing your side roads and that to all different plots of land, to all the fields are very connected in that. And yeah, in terms of what can be purchased in that, I think it's really just like the main town areas with the fixed buildings and that, which, to be honest, it's fine in that, I'm getting that. Oh, that water sound in that. So you have a look at that. It is, uh, to be honest, it is a bit of a... <laughs> Losing my words here today. A bit of a rapid flow in that. Oh yeah, fish in that. Come here, fishy. Oh, Stop swimming away. 
But yeah, that is just, again, still things like that. It is such a nice addition to a map and that. And it's something, again, I can get behind and... Again, it's one of the things, speaking about FS25, of how things could be implemented in that. Things like fish and that, like fish and that, like, that'd be a part of the feature of a map and that. What I mean is, like, base game wise, obviously it'd be a feature in that, and Giants enabling mods and that to have, like, things like anime fish and that, so, yeah, this is going to be your King's Pond market and that. Got a couple of those junior styles and that. Again, just looks at whom it does. But yeah, the shops and that, the markets and that, they do use pretty much the same. Assets and features and that. But it ain't necessarily a bad thing because, yeah, this is a f region in France that Normandy and that, so you are going to see very similar, very same, same buildings and that. So, I think if you head up here and that, yeah, your entrance for your fruit production is just over here and that. So, let's go and buy the production for 120 grand. So, yeah, in terms of income material, so yeah, all your orchards and that, you've gone over and that, from that orchard, um, as part of the production, I was trying to say, along that, water, sugar, butter, eggs, flour, and honey. Pectin, you can make pectin in that, so, pectin you can make from your lemons and apples. Yeah, you will need pectin to make your jellies and that. From like your papayas and all that. Long to make apple jam. And you can make apple chips and that with apple and sugar, you know, break down the flour well not break down the flour. Break down the apple nuts and yeah, that'll okay, get those little apple chips. Along with your apple butter net. So yeah, again apple honey and butter. Pretty much in the name of that. And yeah, you can just get a moy fruit juice net. Decent cycles per month that, so that's like what? Just under 24,000 liters a month? I mean, it's hard for like, things like sugar requirement, 3,600 liters a month. Or if you would use all five, 18,000 liters of sugar in that, so. I think, yeah, how that amount of sugar in that, like, you know, 30, 40,000 liters of sugar a month? I'd say that is like, very reasonable and respectable in terms of what you can do on this map. Again, you can use the base game sugar mill net, and there are modded ones that can be a bit more suited to the map. I haven't got ones in mind, but I know there's like the white mill net, or yeah, I think it's white mill net, which is a grey mill in itself, and I can't remember who's by, but going to this building area, but yeah, it has a feature to make sugar net. Decent output, and yeah, here will be one of your plot areas. Oh yeah, as you may have noticed, it's not all perfect flat, it's like quite flat around here and that. But you ain't get towards the entrance and exit that. Again, a little bit bumpy that, but I'm sure with a bit of landscaping if you want that. That can be corrected that, so... Yeah, we're at the bottom of the map, so... What I'm going to do now is head along here. I think for this I will say on camera now, so this is a recording that. But I think as we get around to these other bits and that, I was going to skip the journeys and that. Again, it's just one thing, keep things concise and that, keep things in a tidy manner and that. But yeah, so taking the views that, taking the scenery of the map. Is and that again, studying, beautiful, gorgeous map, use whatever term you want in that. But yeah, just a nice little French haven in that. Oh, there it goes, we're driving. What's that? A bell tong? Ah, wait a minute, it may be coming from that church over there, I think. Yeah, there's a church there to the left, so... That could be where the bell tongs is coming from. Ah, uh, yeah, I know, we get these kind of maps where there is a lot of... Ooh, Poor driving there. <coughs> not, no, no, no. I didn't mean by maps with poor driving that. I'm just talking about myself and now poor driving. But 
yeah, you get a lot of maps now that has like these custom sounds net. And I'm gonna be impatient for you, so I'm gonna overtake you if I can. Oh no, <laughs> he's always jetting off ahead. Really can speed him in that, but yeah, we're very catching that what, 60 miles an hour in that. Yeah, <laughs> go chase the car now, I'm missing the church and that. I'll be what I'll say, but yeah, we're on about way of custom sounds and that. <laughs> I know things like Evergreen Valley has the mines of that. But yeah, I think Apology Sarah had, yeah, just a bit of a crap in my chest and that. A bit of phlegm. But yeah, things are, you know, the bell tolls. Yeah, what was all about? Yeah, Evergreen Valley and that. You get maps like that where it is, can be quite obnoxious and not, again, not have the ability to turn it off. But things like the bird stripping and that. I think that would get. You can get quite numb to that quite used to eventually. But yeah, this is going to be your daring that, and as I mentioned, yeah, same as the base game, but you can make chocolate, can you make your milk and, well sorry, you can make your butter and cheese. So, yeah, base game ratios and that. But yeah, that bell does toll that, we did very faintly hear in that. Yeah, have a little look off the church in that. Ooh, what's that? A couple of pallets. Oh no, not this spawn that. But yeah, actually, you know what? Quite nice in that. You know, again, next to a little field area over here in that. And also, oh yeah, speaking of field info in that. There are, of course, all these various contracts on the map in that. But if you go to your contracts and that, so I've got a couple of sticks and that, so... Fertilizing, harvesting, all that is enabled, but, you know, the people and that. Got Pascal... What's that? Foy... Foy Boudou? Foy Boudou, I'm not sure. Arnold... Le Lenu? Ginny... Grishnon? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure on the names and that. But yeah, they get different names and that, new names and that. And the unique like, avatar faces or avatar profiles and that. Again, it's still things like that. I do love the mappers and that. Make those little additions to the map and that, you know, the contracts and that. Yeah, the contracts, the contracts and that. I know for a lot of people that those go, yep, I'll do the contract complete in that. But for those who want to get a bit of more of an immersion of it, a bit more of storytelling, a bit more role playing that. You know, put the names to the faces to some of these fields and that. Nice little addition that is, to be honest and that. But yeah, so that is the church and that. And also, yeah, this is going to be where your orchards are as well, so... Yeah, before I just quickly leave and that, so yeah. That's going to be just over here and that. And these can be purchased and that, so... Engine off and that. For 10 grand and you'll sell them for 5 grand so yeah got your apple trees and that get all your items you can be producing and then distributing and I think for the inputs and that for these and that you're going to need at the bare minimum one of these orchards and that or apple trees and that whatever you want to call them but if you want to start doing multiple recipes and that you're going to need a fair bit in that, and yeah, you're going to need, we'll struggle to keep up with them. If you want this at full chat capacity, you're going to need, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least a dozen or two of these apple orchards and that. And yeah, they're not quite small in that, so yeah, you've got to be very careful of, of, or not careful, but more tactile how you place these down. But again, if you like, purchase these hands and that, you can't just whack them over. Maybe not in the hillsides and that, but like this area here alone. You can purchase these four here. Whack another two down, easy in that. And yeah, that's just there alone. And got these buildable lot areas and that, you know. Use some of the you know, the custom terrains and that, or the custom ground textures and that. So yeah, we're just gone over here and that. 
you know, just, you know, create your own little vineyards out, a vineyard orchard and that. We can, you know, whack down these apple trees now and do create a, uh, what's it, a vineyard if you wish and that. But yeah, anyways, we're head back onto the road and for the next bit of the map tour now, so we've just gone over for a while, we've gone over from the fruit production along the roads across and up here and that. And I think what we'll do is we'll head across so head left and right. And yeah, take some of these back roads now. So you've got all these like forestry areas now like Meadowlands and that. I know these brown ones are just like forestry ground textures and that so yeah that is again up to you of how you want to use them. Again you can plant trees and that if you wish. Or again, you know, whack down your own orchards or vineyards and that. Get creative with that. You can do whatever you want in that. So, I know we'll go... I should want... Yeah, let's go over the wart mill now. So, this is going to be a sell point and also a production area now. So, I think, yeah, the sell point is just here in that. And your water mill production in that is just here in that. So yeah, input is here, output for your pallets is here, which is again, nice, it's not just, you know, whacked in for the bit. Nice, it's grand now, I know it's a bit loud, so I'm trying to speak over that. But yeah, wheat, barley, oats, and sorghum flour, base game recipes and ratios and that. But yeah, it's just, again, a custom asset that's been used in that, or prefabbed item in that, whatever one it is. But yeah, it just looks nice, it does. It goes with the map and that. So, yeah, we'll head out of here. And I said, yeah, we'll do a little deviation. Because I want to show it these forestry areas and that, you know. And some of these forestry ground features and that. So, alright, yeah. Got another buildable lot area and that. Not the biggest as the main farm area. But again, if you're a multiplayer and that, you know, you can get quite creative in that. So... But yeah, so you've got these like forestry ground areas now, these little meadowlands. So if we go into build mode, so we'll see how it's dividing that by these little bushes and edge strips and that. But yeah, all these are just meadowlands. But yeah, we've all, we've was all about the forestry ground textures and that. So here and that. So you can't really see it too much of that, but. You know, this is like, used to be signs of what used to be, you know, maybe an old forestry area and that, an old bit of the forest and that, so, you know, come onto the map and that, and you know, you want to replant the trees and that. You know, that used to be signs of woodland life and that. You know, there are plenty of birds and that chirping around, so, there's going to be a need for trees and that for them to sit, sing, and nest. But yeah, like, Okay, that's my fault for pulling out. But yeah, forestry errors and that. Uh, yeah, I didn't go over too much of the forestry errors and that. So, forestry error there, not too grand for all of these trees and that. Not even too bad in that, too fair in that. American elm, so. maple and that. Oh, so yeah, you could have made some trouble in that, you know, logging with a tree horse or that, but you do have things like the mobile utilities mod, so I think that one does have an option to sell wood, I think, or I know there's one for, for like a little tiny container in that, so you can use that to distribute things to the sawmill in that. That's the thing as well, I think there is no sawmill on the map as well, but so no BGA. No sawmill, but again, there's plenty of mods on the mod hub in that. You know, there's 4,500 mods at the moment for consoles alone, so I'm sure there's going to be one or two sawmills in that. That lets you do what you want with it. And I think if we head up here in that, so this is going to be a. You know, yes, yeah, it's going to be your masonry area in that, so. Yeah, got your line fill point over here and that. 
But yeah, you know, you've got your least rocks and that, you know, scheduled to be crushed and that, put it into the masonry and that, and then, yeah, lime is stored over here, and yeah, just purchase lime from the locals and that. Enterprise of Construction, act at the Pyres, or Pyres. Pyres and that. But yeah, again, it's just been well done now. These are custom assets and that. River, river better. And actually, yeah, just looking around at it, you know, again, I'm being trying to be critical here of, you know, pick things like nitpicking and that. Yeah, stones and that may not be the most realistic of the kid. They look quite smooth and that. But yeah, at the end of the day, that's with the assets you get with FS22. That that's down to just a game thing, a game mechanic, a game graphics and that, rather than a modder thing and that. So yeah, we've come along here and that. So I think what we'll do is we head along here, head up the roads. And then, yeah, that's going to be the end of your ship, and, yeah, back to the market now. So, yeah. Also, I do think that is a quarry area, I think. We'll have a look at that. But, yeah, let's go and have a little wonder, as I've gone the wrong way. So, right, yeah, we always create our direction of travel, and, yeah. We're up in the roads, going past this massive cornfield over here, that. Again, yeah, this is just what happens when you load, load up on new farm modes. And yeah, you can put your own crops in that, but you know, that little cornfield and that, that wheat field back there, or green field, whatever it is, to the left of us. That just looks really well suited together in that. But yeah, here is your Andy ship, so this is where you can purchase your animals. No cell point for bells in that, so. You know, again, maybe in that, in the update in that. You know, just have a little marked error here in that, so, you know, accept bells in that. Again, that's just, uh, the only real critique of it in that. Obviously, you need animal pens in that. And also, that helps confirm I haven't missed anything in that terms with animal pens in that. But yeah, with what I mentioned about that little section up there, so next to... 18 and that, so that is a quarry, I think. So, I think we need to just head along past the wheat field, and that, whoever it is, take a path up there, and then, yeah, we're just gonna be at the quarry. But in terms with you know, final thoughts, now as we know, looking at the quarry, now to be honest, that is a pretty stunning of a map. No critique is that he's bothered that. Uh, again, this critique of lack of collisions, but I know, me personally, if I'm playing on this map, I'm going to be complaining about those bothers having collisions. So, it's one of the things it's. I'm glad, glad I oh, you drive through the ball and not glad or not on that. So, that is a bit of a neutral thing, so I don't really comment on that too much. But yeah, that is a worry now, so I'll get on with the rest of my final thoughts on that. But yeah, a little quarry here on that. Yeah, that's one about the stones that being very sh very shiny in that. And wait a minute, you just have a mass and literage, so... Okay, I'm on the PS4 Pro, there is a little bit of lag. But, again, that is to be expected with a lot of assets, but, can you fill up a tray of these? Because I know there's like these, the, the dynamic rocks and that, you can use that, so, it's so, alright, yeah, just to quickly show, well, yeah, you can just fill up your vehicle and that, with these stones and that, and I did use the small little pebble ones here in the middle, but yeah, these bigger ones, these do move and that, so, yeah, if I just quickly hop into our case here and that, will move so yeah you can you know all right okay that was tipped up that so is that could be the one that goes in but yeah these will fill up in that so yeah you do have a finite source of free stone in that so use that as you wish now but again there's plenty of ways you can you know again use the dynamic stones more now you know get stones out they'll spawn out shopping that and you know just 
teleport some over in that. Yeah, not sure which one left in that. But yeah, as we do our final wrap up here in that. So yeah, I thought we just quickly showed the quarry off in that. Nice little thing there in that. But yeah, so let's now let's do our final thoughts and conclusion and finish off in that. So, if I have to rate the map itself, I say overall, a four out of, yeah, four out of five in that. One, because yeah, it is missing the sawmill and BG in that. But again, there are mods that you can place down if you want. That could be a bit more suitable to the map in that. You know, different sizes of BGs are available in that. But also, yeah, I think, yeah, the reason why it ain't a 5 out of 5 in that, it's, it's a nice map, it's still a map in that, but there's no uh, custom crops in that. Also, the requiring mod after fruit production is a little great for me, since stone walls in that, which are part of JM Game in that. That's on the map in that, and that's not a requiring mod, but the stone production is, uh, well, not stone production, the fruit production is, so that's why it's a 4 out of 5 in that, but overall a stunning, beautiful, gorgeous map in that. A map I recommend to play on, or at least give it a go in that. It may not be your particular kind of style map, but you can, you can get very creative. Like, again, with these fields in that, you know, you can you know, remove expenses and create your, move, your own mega fields in that, if you wish. So yeah, there ain't fixing place now. There are non remove they're, they're not non remove I was trying to say in that. But yeah, you can get away with a lot of things in that. But I think that is going to be the map tour wrapped up here. So, as always, hope you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash the button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, please consider. But for you to do, hope you're stay. For now, this is me, Farmer Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all uh, very soon. Yeah, got distracted by the outro there because of me closing into that car. Ugh, that was deep.